Okay, so I want to get, I want to get a little bit of feedback on what all y'all think about Sims. I was listening to uh, to Chris and Sherry, Geo, and I, I haven't listened to anybody for a long time, but I got the the hankering to connect with something outside of the the dead neighborhood househood <laughs> it's a househood anyway well a few questions i have for for everybody number 1 do you think this is a sim a simulation and yes, I know all of the things that go along with that line of thought. But just ponder it for a bit. Do you think this is a sim or no? And if so, do you think it's close to the baseline reality? Or is it very, very many levels incepted? I was just thinking about it like... Rick and Morty, right? They're going through portals all the time. Every single episode, they're just jumping through portals and they're going to different versions and different universes and they just pop in and out. And, you know, there are some some bad or scary parts. I mean, creatures die. Even the main characters die, but they always end up coming back or... It's just not as serious as uh, this life pretends to be, even though I don't really think that, <laughs> I don't think, you know, I don't think this life is pretending to be serious anymore. I don't think it's, I don't think it's pretending anything anymore. It's just going, like, it's just, it's on, it's on autopilot for the most part and it just goes. And that's including all of the people or the, the ones who appear to be people. It's just going. I feel like a lot of the emotional volatility has been worked on because I don't see people yelling, I don't see people fighting. I really don't. I mean, people are getting along whenever I see them. It's just that they're on the train tracks. They're not, uh, they're not discussing. So... Just imagine for a second if, if, if it's something similar to Rick and Morty. Just similar. Possibly. Just, just imagine that there are a bunch of different worlds and universes and versions. Many verses make up one book, right? So if the book is the whole thing or the never-ending story or whatever, then there's there are a whole bunch of different universes linked through whatever means even just inside even every person is a universe but that that means like the, the reels it's not the, the the backdrops are not universes unto themselves like the reels are they're they're furniture or whatever right they're furniture <clears throat> So, but just imagine if ending up in this place, you know, because nobody discusses anything. There, there, there's no history. There's no, like, oral traditions passing on knowledge and, and no, 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 no. It's, it's only the, the, the feeding, the direct forced feeding of whatever mainstream religion that you happen to be unlucky enough to be born into and that's it you know all of the things that are accepted as normal here like holidays birthdays everything that's accepted as normal here is when you take a step back from it it's mostly insane or or at the minimum arbitrary 
just completely arbitrary and it and not necessary not necessary to do things this way versus that way but just imagine if <laughs> you know base reality just imagine if it's some shitty interdimensional carnival and and you were there with your friends in like in some Rick and Morty episode and you know and one of your friends was being a brat and he like pushed you into this shitty life simulator you know 1.003 go here and feel lots of pain <laughs> you know and your friend just he saw the sign he's like oh this is a piece of shit simulator so I'm gonna push my buddy into it and since time dilation happens of course if you're gonna go into a sim usually time is passing kind of like uh, whatever you come back out into the regular reality and you've lived in there for a couple hundred years and regular reality is like 10 minutes so like your friend pushes you into the shitty life simulator 2.0, whatever, 1.003, and you're just in here, and it feels like you're, you know, 30 years old, and you've been running around doing things and whatever, but a part of you feels like there's something off. You can't quite put your finger on it, but something's wrong. To some aspect of yourself, there is something that's off. And... <laughs> you know, just imagine if you woke, if you came back to the, the, the interdimensional carnival where your friend pushed you into the shitty life simulator and, and you come back and it's been like two minutes and he's just, he already forgot that he pushed you in there. He's already off, you know, playing, he's playing pinball a couple feet over to the side and, and you come out and you're just like shaking your head, you know? And then you don't even barely discuss what happened in the shitty life simulator because <laughs> once you wake up into the interdimensional carnival, you just remember, you're like, oh yeah, my friend, and you go you punch him on the shoulder or punch him on the flargle or whatever the hell kind of limb apparatus, you know, we have in the next one up or whatever. You know, like, what if it was something that ridiculous and just silly just not like just like yes interdimensional yes high tech yes uh, you know extreme quantum intelligence yes this yes that and yes the other thing but at the same time it's just fucking silly and ridiculous and friends are actually capable of having conversations rather than everybody staring into their uh, their box all fucking day long you know anyway just some thoughts on simulations and whatnot. so let me know what you think let me know if, if you remember any of your friends uh, pushing you into shitty life simulator 1.003 and if you did then maybe you'll feel a little better knowing that this isn't uh, <laughs> permanent okay bye